All right, I also love a good musical, and that's what we're talking about next. Now, if you're a fan of the movie Back to the Future, listen up in particular, because this morning we are talking with one of the stars of the new Broadway show. It's called Back to the Future, the musical. It's based, of course, on the 1985 film about a teenager named Marty McFly who was accidentally transported back to 1955 in a time-traveling DeLorean vehicle. The time machine was invented by Marty's friend, Dr. Emmett Brown, Doc Brown, and the musical recently made its Broadway debut after winning an, uh, I don't actually know this award, uh, Olivier Award for Best New Musical in London last year. Tony winner Roger Bart plays the iconic Doc Brown. Tony winner. A space and time for nuclear, but it's the nuclear because it works, it works. The world will write my story in this stainless steel DeLorean. The time continuum shall be traversed because Marty, it works, 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 it works. You know what else works? It works. Uh, you in this role, Roger yes. Barr. Welcome to see you. <laughs> welcome to see you this morning. Uh, this role and this look. I saw yeah. him in hair and makeup, and here he looks is. great. Yeah. <laughs> Toned down. <laughs> I was actually thrown off when we had the tease. I was like, okay. um, honestly, the show is fantastic. It really, is. The audience is so into it. There's so much energy. The the cast gives all that energy back to the audience. Uh, it is a knockout experience. Uh, oh, okay. As you can tell, I'm auditioning to get my name and like the signs <laughs> outside. <laughs> knockout experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it like for you to step into this role because it's an iconic role right mm -hmm. it's like it's been done and done really memorably so yes. it's got to be tough as an actor to do that very very fun you know like chris lloyd set the bar very very high wow. but also uh because he is so wonderfully animated and um so funny and so warm and so great in the role he could he he made it easier for some way is for me I, I swear that every time i come out on stage it's a couple things that get the entrance applause it's usually the car yeah. chris lloyd and then eventually they're like who is that guy <laughs> He's so, pretty good. That's pretty it. Good. So Chris Lloyd did a great job. You know, I'm just riding on his coattails. He apparently came oh. by, right, to say hello, to visit he with did, the cast. He did. Yeah, he's yeah, come many times like? to see us. Great. He's a, he's so he's so lovely. There he is, right there. Yeah, very supportive. He he. Uh, his big question to me when we started out was, I, he said, "So what is this? A musical?" I said, "Yeah." And he goes, "Oh, I can't wait to." Hear how Doc sings, and I <laughs> thought, yeah, yeah, me too. But got well, Doc sings very well. Yeah. I love yes. the Dreamer song. It, 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 I thought you were so good. The thing that's fun about watching you, Roger, is that you seem to be having such a great time mm. from the moment you step out on the stage. And I'm wondering, I was there Tuesday night, seat K113. Mm. I thought we were a very good audience. You were does, excellent. Does the audience make a difference for you and your performance? It does. You I know, wonder. It, it, it's so, it's, it's, it's the it's the great scene partner that you don't have while you're in rehearsal, and then suddenly there they are. And it, 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 I would say it's a little like a, just being on a funny blind date. You know, there are those great, great dates where you're like, just let's order another bottle of wine, like your audience. Yes. You're in. And then there, of course, there are occasionally the ones where you're like, you know what, we'll just take the check. We're <laughs> <laughs> but it's a mixture of theater and cinema, is it not? I've yeah. never seen a production like that, I have to it say. It really is. You know, we have a really ex exciting, um, Gareth Owen created a very great soundscape. It's very, very visceral to be yes, on the show. Yes, very visceral. And also, um, you know, Tim Hatley and the other designers, Hugh Van Stone and, and uh, Tim Lepkin, they've all created a world visually yeah. uh, that is really like nothing you're ever going to see uh, yeah. on Broadway ever It, it honestly feels like, it feels like uh, a movie uh, and, and theater at the same time, but also yeah. like a ride almost. Mm -hmm. Because everything's yeah, moving right. around you and there's yeah. interactive elements, you know, bubbles or a little bit of water. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> like, bubbles. Yeah, yeah, bubbles I suggest for every show, by the way. They're, they're a great hit. It, what was it like learning all the, the marks on stage? Because there really is like big moving equipment. Mm -hmm. Magic yeah. on stage. It, you know, it, it, it's, 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 um, deceptively dangerous up there. I'll bet. Um, but you, you know, you get used to it much the same way you guys are around this set here. You, you see you how dangerous know where all this the steps is. Are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not throwing you can off are. the chair. Yeah. <laughs> so, Roger, let's just say you hop into DeLorean right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. You go back to 1985. Yes. You catch yourself at the movie theater, yeah. about to walk in and watch Back to the Future. Yeah. Uh -huh. What would you say to young Roger? I would say um, try not to be too jealous of Michael J. Fox because he is oh. so good looking and so talented. <laughs> and just think to yourself, you know, possibly maybe one day down the road I'll get a chance to play like a role like Doc Brown and here I am, so I'm a pretty lucky guy. But all these years later though, Roger, this, this movie, this play still resonates with so many people. Yeah. Why do you think that is? 
You know what? I think it just is. It, it sort of checks a lot of boxes mm -hmm. for somebody who loves to be. It's very entertaining. Yeah. You know, it's magical. You know, we have a little sci-fi in there, um, which is pretty amazing, and we also have a really wonderful. Um, warm family story about a, a, a kid who kind of gets to know his dad as a peer. Uh -huh. And it's sort of, that's sort of a, yeah. a, a, an interesting idea that not a lot of us have seen before. So it, it kind of has a, a lot going for it. It's also really, really entertaining. It is. So, which is what you would ask about with me. I have a great time doing I can, it. It, it, seems it is like so it. fun for people. Yeah, and we, we love it when you break the fourth wall. and It's like you're talking to us outside of the script. Yeah. There's a good magic yeah. trick. I want to know how you did it. I, well, I the knives? I mean, there's a bunch of magic tricks. No, the it's way that he knows the magic trick. I yeah. want to know, how did you do that? Uh, we got a few, so that's it's good. You'll have to come figure it out. Yes, yeah. yes, great yes. Show. It's a great musical. My daughter loved it. 11-year-old Mia loved it, right? Yep, she's 13 it's, years it's old. Huge. It's great. Whole family. Roger yeah. Bart, thank you very much. Appreciate thank you for it. having me. You can me, see yeah. Roger on Broadway, Back to the Future, the musical, now playing at the Winter Garden Theater. Go for it.